Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, before I get into this uh, video, I will have to uh, uh, make a statement, a disclaimer. We all know that the Russian fleet and the Russian you know, airplanes and how wizards, all the military, uh, all the weapons they got, it's a bunch of rusty garbage. We got that? All right. Now, since we got that covered, now we're going to start with the article. Russia re uh, reported that they will start two main drills, uh, naval drills, one in the Baltic Sea and the other one in the Sea of Japan. Surprise, surprise. Hey, but they're not like two ore boats or some uh, uh, canoes or something right? or kayaks. Okay, it's not like that. That's um, a lot of people involved. And I'm going to show you. And remember, when I get too excited about it, just remind me that, hey, Emil, you said it's rusty and all that. And we all know that as a fact. So let's go to the first article coming from Sputnik. And this is from 15 hours ago, which is today, Monday, June the 5th. Watch Russian Pacific Fleet conducting drills in Sea of Japan, Sea of Okhotsk. So let's see if we can see anything here. I don't know if we're gonna be anything. And these are the drills so far, okay? Rusty, rusty, rusty. They're just maneuvering and then they go back. But they're floating, at least they're flo floating, right, my friends? Yes, you know I'm doing this for YouTube. So YouTube will say, yes, yes, Emil is one of, of our people. Rusty, rusty, rusty. It looks good. So they are getting ahead. And I'm going to tell you exactly how many ships they uh, involve here, how many personnel. So, but, you know, I'm not going to repeat uh, uh, the rusty shit, but I just did. So here they are, Ooh, a lot of them. Beautiful bridge though. Is this the same ship uh, 50 times? No, it's not, I know, I know. That looks like Mount Fuji in Japan, but it's not. All right, so this is it. Moscow, the Russian Pacific Fleet has begun exercises with the participation of more than 60 warships and support vessels, the press service of the fleet announced on Monday. In accordance with the plan for training the military command and control bodies of the forces of the Pacific Fleet for 2023, from June 5 to June 20th, in the waters of the Sea of Japan and the Sea of Okhotsk, under the leadership of the commander of the Pacific Fleet, Admiral Viktor Lina, an operational exercise of the fleet's various branches in the Far Sea zone is being conducted, the statement said. It, is, ha, it has noted that more than 60 warship, ships and fleet support vessels, about 35 aircraft of naval aviation, coastal troops and more than 11,000 military personnel are involved in these drills. I'm pretty sure they're lying, right? Yes. Naval tactical groups together with naval aviation will train to search for an track and track enemy submarines and conduct combat training exercises against surface and air targets, the statement pointed out, adding that the organization of air defense will also be worked out. All right, so that's the first one. I got another one because there are going to be two of them, one in the Baltic Sea and one in the Sea of Japan. So let's go to the, uh, the other article, which uh, comes from, again, Sputnik. Russian Defense Ministry announce, announce, says, announces start of operational drills with Baltic fleet units. Ba -ba -ba -bam. Operational military exercise with the units of Russia's Baltic fleet began, began at training grounds in the Kaliningrad region on Monday under the leadership of the fleet commander. The press services of the Baltic fleet said, adding that the drills were run through June 15. Now, in accordance with the training, blah, 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 June 5 to 15, an operational exercise began with the Baltic fleet groupings under 
in the Baltic Sea and at command training grounds at the Kaliningrad region of the leadership of the commander of the Baltic Fleet, Vice Admiral Vladimir Vorobyov. The press services stated. Now, let's see how many ships. This is uh, the, the, the one the article that I showed you before. So, about 40 ships and vessels, over 3,500 military personnel, up to 500 units of military equipment, as well as up to 25 aircraft and helicopters are involved in operational exercises of the Baltic Sea. The statement read, sailors of the Baltic fleet are set to practice the protection and defense of sea lanes and bases of the fleet as part of the operational exercises. The statement added, now let's go to the map. We got the map here, map, the one that you map the floor. So we got the map and the map shows us where this occurs. So Russia is in yellow, yellow, mellow, mellow, yellow, right here. Um, the Baltic Sea is right here. You see where my little by Poland, Poland, and the Baltic states comprising about five million people: Lithuania, Estonia, and Latvia, right here with Poland. And Kaliningrad is the re the red. Oh my God, the yellow little thing over there is Kaliningrad. So the Russians are doing right here, Baltic Sea. This is Sweden right here, right? This is where they do. This is Ukraine. Is the Black Sea. This is where the war is. So this is one, and the other, the, the other one is in the Sea of Japan, right here. Okay, so uh, here and there, because Russia has no might. Is uh, what did uh, Blinken say? That uh, Russia is the second army in the world in Ukraine after Ukraine or something like that. I guess. So it's about what sixty plus about forty, about what one hundred vessels and support um, ships. Plus about what fourteen, almost no fourteen five hundred thousand uh, personnel, with I don't know about one hundred uh, aircraft and all that. That's nothing. That's nothing. But anyway, that's the lack of power sh uh, Russia displays now in the middle of a losing war. Now, just for you, my friends, do you think that that country can lose against the Ukrainian army, as strong and as courageous and big-hearted and tough the Ukrainians are, which they are. They have a very finite number of fighters. The territory is small. With all the supply from the, you know, their NATO and all that, this number will decrease. Uh, look at those, and that's not, I haven't heard any submarines. The R Russians have uh, nuclear submarines all over, scattered all over this planet. So, it's so so stupid when these guys are saying, well, uh, Ukraine will win, Russia will lose. In what world? In what world? I told you the only, um, aside, from, uh, or aside from a mutual destruction, nuclear destruction, it's only one, I think, scenario where Russia could lose. And that is if, as I said, by a certain kind of miracle, you got about 300 at least, from the top echelon in the Russian military, security services, political, media, out and replaced right there with the guys with different kind of hair, you know, uh, okay? So you replace them with those and then you start somehow change the opinion overnight of the 83% of the Russian population that supports the guy in the Kremlin. Do you think that's possible? How, how, what would be the odds? What percentage would, of success would you give to such a situation? This is the, I think, it could be broken. It could be a little uh, uh, insurrection or, you know, mutiny in the army and all that. That could happen. But still, that will not mean that Putin and these guys are going to just bye-bye. But anyway, there, there are some other, uh, obviously, uh, you know, scenarios and that I can envision, but Russia will not go down uh, without a fight. And as, as I said before, and even these weasels now in the West, uh, mass media, they confirm that Russia is not using but a small fraction of its military potential. If you want to just look at the number of, of uh, fighters, Russia doesn't have any more fighters. 
of a potential of what? At least 30 million that could be, a, a, how do you call it, a mobilized in a general mobilization. But anyway, I know they will not fight because they're weasels like others, you know. Uh, well, yeah. Remember when it was that kind of say here in the United States of America, well, his money or her money is green, so I take it. Remember that? That was the selling of the American soul. When you have some businesses saying, well, I'm not going to uh, boycott anybody. I'm not going to, I'm going to sell to everybody. I'm going to do business with everybody else because their money is green as well. Regardless if that's a uh, this or that or this or that. Well, I wonder if they would do the same thing with a pedophile. Oh, his money is still uh, green, uh, still green, so I, I will take it. It works that way. That means you have no principles, no soul. But hey, this is uh, just a little bit of a, uh, uh, for people, uh, a hint, if you know what I mean. So, we'll find out what happened if these guys allow us, obviously. And as of now, these guys are uh, conducting drills in two opposite sides of Russia, the Russian Federation. Opposite, really. And uh, not with three, as I said, rowboats, uh, a canoe or a kayak or something. Or maybe, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.